Hey everybody, it's Ryan and Bree and we are going to take you to the Winterfest light trail. It's a little chilly, so we'll see how far we can get and we're going to walk down and show you some lights. Are you ready? Fa la lama. <laughs> Without further ado, <laughs> let the, the adventure, adventure begin. begin. Today's adventure to this free walking trail of Christmas lights is going to begin with free parking at the island. The lights are going to run through next year until February 19th and they are on at 5 p.m. until 1 a.m. in the morning. So our plan is to enter the Winterfest lights right here and we're going to walk with you and show you what they're like. So from here at the island, the walking trail itself is going to be 0.57 miles to the Jake Thomas Bridge. And if you make it all the way to the old mill, that's 1.13 miles. So make sure you have good walking shoes and are bundled up. We're good to go. Let's go. All right, let's go. So some of the kids are with our friend Anthony up ahead. And Bree and I are Gonna walk and give you a little uh, commentary of what we see along the way. It's definitely a very nice, relaxing walk. It's the only time of year I can wear my light up hat. <laughs> so, fresh batteries, ready to go. I come up to this next section. This is where I've seen them do most of their Ooh. pictures. This is this cool. Is kind of the wow area for sure. Oh, it's really pretty. I feel like you're in a winter wonderland. I kind of feel like I'm in the Osborne lights. They used to do at Hollywood Studios, which was always really neat. We've been waiting on you. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Come on, guys. He's hanging on in here. He can get you really. This area is pretty neat. Yes. And a blue curtain. It's like walls of ice. So we're going for a walk tonight here in Pigeon Forge. What is it, like 35 degrees out? Yes. It's cold. Chilly night. I think we need some hot coffee after this. Yeah. Our plan is to keep walking down the trail, and we're going to end up over by a food city that has a Starbucks. Oh, this it's is like, cute. A little snowman village. Yeah, coming up to Frosty. Snowman and his family. That's what oh, I'm gonna go with. Look at that, it's a fountain. Oh yes. You got some over here along the river. I love fishing in this river in the spring and summertime catching rainbow trout. That's a pretty neat little fountain. Makes me think of the fountain at the, the village. The village. I was thinking the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. And We've seen that bears. fountain frozen over in the village. We've been over to the village by the donut fryer and that fountain has been frozen. It was so cold there that one time we were there. There's some polar bears. Some cubs. Yeah, you can also see some polar bears at Dollywood right now. It's a 50 foot light up tree that has a story of polar bear meeting his cousin the black bear. I see somebody walking their dog, so something you could do, the dog owners out there. Or your cat. I don't think you're going to walk a cat. And you can walk a cat. <laughs> it just takes time and patience. See the Pigeon Forge trolley just picked up some people, which is another option. You can take the trolley and be dropped off right here and hop back on the trolley after you walked it a bit. You got all these lights up here and some no more snow people. Frosty and his family. Very cute. 
Oh, there goes Micah and Hannah. Playing tag. Trying to stay warm. It is a frosty night. You can see the Holiday Inn across the river walk here. As we come up to the new bridge that they finished up earlier this year. And lots of white stars. Kind of like some blue stardust below them. Yeah, very pretty. So I did hear that they are going to try to have music next year. Yep, I think uh, they just couldn't get it completed to have uh, some music along the path, but uh, maybe we'll be able to experience that next year, hopefully. Again, this is the bridge that will connect you over to the main parkway in Pigeon Forge. And there's Old Man Winter, or is it Santa? I don't know. <laughs> He's blowing wind, cold air, snow. I'm going to go with Old Man Winter. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? As we come under this bridge, it's a spot that I know well. I've done fishing right in this area. There's a couple of trout holes that I'm familiar with. You can see the LeConte Convention Center in the background here. All sorts of different conventions throughout the year. Another white polar bear. Oh, we've got a deer family. A buck, a doe, and a little fawn. Yep, on the right, and there's some more over here on the left. And another deer family over here on the left in front of the LeConte Convention Center. It's really nice. Definitely lots of activity up at the Convention Center tonight, and we come over to this little bug. Is it a caterpillar? Yeah, it looks like the um, very hungry caterpillar. And there goes the mica that just walked in front of him. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. He's cute. Got a bunch of blue trees over here as we come up to the Jake Thomas Bridge. This is always a really neat bridge to drive under at night. And we're gonna walk under it. And I think they added some lights that I can see. Ooh. Oh yeah, check these out. Oh. Colored icicles under the bridge. That's fun. I see something colorful ahead, but before we get to that, there's deer jumping over the pathway here. Ooh. Now we come up to this next section of lights walk there. Kind of reminds me of the Arctic Passage, the northern lights at Dollywood as they hang down above you. It's really pretty. Yeah, just need some uh, fog machines. <laughs> very, very colorful. We don't need fog machines. I can, I got a fog machine right here. I just breathe. There you go. Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's jumping side to side. You yeah, see that? That's fun. So as we came into this next section, it has really a traditional Christmas strung across the sidewalk kind of feel to it. Um, just very nice and relaxing to walk through and enjoy these lights. If you missed that person just went by on a scooter, so you could do the entire trail on a scooter or a wheelchair. At this point, it was pretty cold. So this was the end right here, but everybody decided to walk up 
this little embankment here, head over to the Starbucks inside the store, and I said, hey, I'll go finish the rest of the trail and get some video for you guys. So I brought in Bree here, and she's gonna check this out for her first time with us. Ooh, I like this. I like the mushroom. Flowers, those are really pretty. And are those like dandelions, would you say? Yeah, those look like dandelions. That's really unique. I haven't seen a light quite like that before. So we come back to some more frogs over here a lot. This is kind of the bug section of the walkway. You have this frog who's the guy in charge of the orchestra here. <laughs> and, uh, oh, it's a Li firefly or a lightning bug. Which, which, what do you call it? Lightning bug, because we're from Tampa Bay. <laughs> Go Bolts. <sighs> And a dragonfly, and I was trying to figure out what is this guy with the red hairdo over here? He looks here? like a spider. A spider playing a flute, and a grasshopper, grasshopper playing the cello, it looks like. Or the eh, cello or fiddle. Looks like cello, I think you're right. And this is another frog playing the drums on the back of this turtle here. Oh, that's cool. This oh, kinda, I like that. Yeah, it kind of gave me an avatar feel. Like those little things that float around in uh, Pandora. Yes, yes. An avatar, like a big giant one. Or it's kind of like a fountain with little things all around the ground. Across from that, in this little bug section, you can see these little barriers. Right here is the old mill. So you could walk down this road right here. It's a little more dark. I'll show you a better way if you wanted to park at Patriot Park and walk over here. So you can come to this next section, Brie. This is nice. I always like the light arches. Kind of just makes you feel like you're just surrounded by the lights and a kind of fun, magical experience. So and I like the butterflies, too. I've noticed these butterflies. I feel like they're the exact same butterflies that Dollywood has on the bridge to the Time Saver Passes. Right by Dolly Parton's tour bus, they have some very similar butterflies. I feel like they're almost the exact same ones. They're really pretty, kind of iridescent. So here we are back to the either the end or the beginning, depending on where you start. You got a little photo op wall over here. You can see the sign here that we're at the Old Mill District. The Jake Thomas Bridge is a good halfway point. So if you wanted to just walk half the trail and turn back to where you parked, I hope this video helps you decide which half you'd like to walk. If you have enjoyed this walk, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. So from here, I walked back the 1.13 miles as they stayed warm inside the food city and got a hot beverage. You can see the beginning or the end of the walking trail. We were just at right here in the middle of the screen and I went over and picked up the car at the island and drove back over and picked everybody up at this food city they were staying warm with a hot beverage and then we decided to drive over to the old mill district once we made it over to the old mill district we checked out some of the lights in the field at patriot park checking out the light displays honoring the men and women who are serving and have served in the various military branches we're going to do a whole nother video covering more lights and pigeon forge so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel and we're gonna show you much more lights in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. There was also this village that had free admission with various vendors inside. Unfortunately, they close at 6 p.m. They're open on Friday and Saturdays. I didn't see any dates that there would be open in December. I think it's just a November thing. Wanted to show you the free parking here next to Patriot Park. And this is where you would walk down. You'd follow those snowflakes to the end of where we started, which you could also again park here, walk down this road and come to that point as an option for you. But that wraps up our look at the Pigeon Forge Wonders of Light walking trail. We hope you guys have enjoyed joining us. This is a great free activity you can do with your family if you're here in the area, but feel free to ask us any questions in the comments. We always appreciate your feedback and actually read every one of your comments. So let us know your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.